Hey guys, so today I thought I would talk about some of the gym home workout realizations because I've made a video semi recently about reasons I don't want to go to the gym, but I do home workouts. I do three home workouts a week at the moment. I'm hoping to try and keep to that and to try and keep consistent, but I mean, it is difficult. I want to talk about some of the things that people who go to the gym or gym influencers and stuff, I feel like they never talk about. So let's go. So the first thing is the amount of clothing you go through. And I don't mean like ripping stuff. I just mean the amount of clothes you have to wash every single week. Sports bras. I'm having to have specific workout t-shirts so that I don't get just normal t-shirts like more BOE over time. So I've had to segregate a bunch of t-shirts that I don't particularly wear that often. I'm washing three pairs of leggings every single week. I'm having to wash more socks, more underwear all the time because if I'm working out in the morning, it's not too bad. I can just sweat in the stuff I was wearing like the night before. But if I'm working out in the evening, I have to change again genuinely do you go commando like and just sweat and everything into your leggings or do you just have to wash so many more clothes it is unreal it's something that no one talks about i would normally have like some sort of pajamas clothes i'm hanging out in if i want to go to the shops or go out you know if i'm going somewhere at the weekend i've got those clothes as well um and then i've got my gym clothes as well so it's like a, a fourth additional category of stuff that i'm constantly cleaning and i cannot keep up I need to have maybe two washing machines and two airers going all the time and I do not have a big enough flat for that so it is so difficult. It's one of the really annoying parts that like I say just no one talks about. The next thing is around mental health. So this is just me personally and I spoke about this on Twitter and a few people actually agreed with me so I'm glad it's not just me that's found this but people who say exercise to help your mental health like they need to take a walk around in my brain because that doesn't happen. For example, if I'm depressed, I am not motivated to exercise. And if I try and push myself to exercise, I end up just feeling worse about myself because I'm not actually putting in the effort I know I should be. So I just feel bad about myself. I have to be in a good place mentally and I have been like for the past few months. I have to be in a good place mentally to be motivated to exercise multiple times a week. And that's what helps my mental health because then I can feel like I don't necessarily have to look into the mirror and think, where is the progress? I can't see any progress because I'm not doing it specifically for getting fit. I'm, I'm literally just doing it for my health at this point. If I gain a little bit of muscle and li lose a little bit of fat, that's absolutely great. I'm kind of just doing it now to help my health along the way. And my heart and my lungs have gotten better over time. I said that in that gym video that my I thought I had an underlying health condition. I think I just maybe wasn't used to how to exercise and how to breathe properly and stuff like that because it's gotten better over time. It's not perfect, but you know, it's gotten better, which is good news. <laughs> but it's something that if you're depressed going for a walk like breaking your cycle does help because I've, I have depression I, I definitely think that's a thing again trying to push yourself to go out for, even for a five minute walk and get yourself in fresh air is hard so that's why I'm saying like trying to push yourself to exercise when you're depressed it just it doesn't help my mental health but if I'm in a good place, I feel better and better and better about myself because I feel like wow look at me three workouts a week leg day, arm day, and cardio. And I've been doing that three times a week for the last almost two months. That's an incredible improvement for me. Trying to stay consistent can be difficult. And there are some days where I'm like, I really, really just don't want to do it. But I push myself to do it. And after I've finished, I feel better about myself because I've been like, do you know what? I've done myself a service here. I've like, I've really pushed myself and I'm staying consistent. Staying consistent is so difficult. I've struggled with that for years. But the other thing that, at least for me, with someone with ADHD, I don't know if this is going to help everyone, but it definitely helps me. If I work out in the morning I don't procrastinate the rest of the day I am a huge huge procrastinator massive but if I work out I am able to get more done hence why I've been able to put two videos up every single week for the past like couple of weeks because I'm staying consistent I'm staying motivated by it's helping me not procrastinate so I edit more I make sure I'm actually eating proper meals I'm like keeping up with the cleaning of my flat and not just letting it go to shit for almost two weeks and then being like oh do you know I really really should deal with it I'm, I'm keeping up on top of things I'm doing wrong my flat is not one of those sort of you look at it and it's like pristine kind of places I'm always gonna be a little bit messy I don't know there's just I get more done I feel more motivated to keep going because I've already I've started my day off in a positive way so because of that I just keep going I'm like oh well it only take five minutes to get this thing done I'll just get it done now and then it's done oh well while I'm up I may as well just do this thing so I get that done and I just end up doing more and more and more 
So it's it's something that I don't know if it will help everyone. I don't know if it's an ADHD thing or just a, a motivation, non-procrastination thing because I've started my day off right mentally. But if you struggle with procrastination, I would suggest trying it, even if it's going for a, a walk around your park for 10 minutes or doing weights for five minutes. Just doing something to get you started because it's so easy to just sit on the sofa and scroll TikTok or watch YouTube for hours and then you realize wow it's like two three o'clock and i haven't done anything so anyway if you agree with any of my points make sure to give us a like and subscribe if you like it i'd really appreciate it if you, there's anything you want to ask me about my like home workout journey let me know in a couple of weeks i'm gonna be getting a, a fitness bench and a new barbell so i can do rdls and stuff like that so because i need more weights like i have i only have small weights at the moment i know i'm i could push myself way harder but i just don't have them i could go to a gym and use what's there but um i don't want to embarrass myself. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye!